10 minute zero increment game. See how we get on. Let's push through the centre here, attack the palm. Let's attack the knight. I know it's a bit of a lockdown. Head of the snake is going to disappear. So I'm not looking to manage anything with the pawn, but it all depends on what the opponent does. We're willing to accept that the pawn is not going to last too long. Or this pawn either. So let's just grab. This pawn has no protection at the moment, so we could just bring this bishop here. Obviously, this pawn's going to. No, it's not. So attacking our pawn, so a pawn for a pawn, yes, shall we? Pawn for a pawn, knight comes is attacking our bishop. Could bring the bishop back. Yep, let's just bring it back here. So I don't think I've ever been in this type of position or played this type of opening because it's based on what the opponent is actually doing. So I'm going to block here with the pawn. What else is going to happen here? Going to attack the knight. And we're going to take. Now it's getting simplified. And going to smaller piece attacking a higher piece. It's got a two on one here. But that might be too clever for their own, own good. It's got a two on one as well on this pawn so we're going to smaller piece attack a higher piece I'm actually feeling quite good about this position because they've kind of greedy munched for the pawn and I don't believe their position is really good enough for doing that because the bishop He's being attacked. Ooh, he found a way. He found a way. Just attack the king. Something has to go in front of the king to defend it, so the bishop has to move. I'm going to take. I'm going to take with a check. I'm feeling really good about this because we're going to get the pawn back. They're going to have to move a pawn, yeah, exactly, to get castled. I'm going to attack the rook. Take. It's going to castle. Let's just bring the rook here, on in the file. It's going to get our pawn on the bottom here. We bring the rook here attacking his bishop as well as defending our bishop. Should give us tempo to move the king and defend the pawn if we have to. And the bishop's moving back anyway. The bishop isn't moving back, so we're going to have to move the king just defending the pawn. I was about to say, don't mind doubling the pawns up, attacking the bishop. Attack the bishop. Yeah. He's got a double situation himself. And we do have a passer here. I'm going to attack the bishop. Rook puts a check on the king. Do we sit here? Or do we protect the pawn coming down here? Oh, he'll be able to take all these pawns off, won't he? Hmm. Alright, well. Sticky wicket. He's not coming for it yet. Let's go down and attack this pawn while his rook puts a check on our king. Uh, do we come down? Come to the kitchen. We take this one then at least. If he puts a check on move here. Take this one. Now we can go in for. Oh, he's coming down the bottom. So I think we need to just fly this rook up then. Uh, keep from pawn, sorry. Oh. Uh, 
that. If he went for that, we could get the queen. With a check on the king. Might need to keep the checks on. I was thinking push here to get the rook off, but that might be a bit dicey. Oh, it looks like this player's left the game. Well, that was another meaty type of game. These are the games I'm liking, I'm wanting. You know, it did feel quite strong the opponent blocked off stuff and that type of thing but the position from greedy munching that pawn it wasn't the best and we're constantly saying greedy munching pawns you have to check to make sure that your position is going to be um we'll claim victory on that yeah your position is going to be okay because you know yes the do look lovely and delicious but if you're going to lose out in the next few moves because of bad position play. Was it actually worth it? Two inaccuracies, one mistake and three blunders for myself. Seven inaccuracies, two mistakes and six blunders. Whew, for the opponent. Is that right? I read that right. Sorry, seven seven inaccuracies three mistakes two blunders for the opponent okay we got 83 percent and they got 75 percent so again not too bad it's there or thereabouts but let's have a look at the um scores on the doors let's see what actually happened in the game I'm going to say that they were probably in a better position, better state, the evaluation is going to go, yes, the out and out winning and all that type of stuff, you know, maybe because they're greedy months. Let's have a look at the situation. So we pushed through the centre, then we pushed again onto the knight. That was different for us, so that obviously generated a different kind of response um, from the opponent. So at this point here, this is kind of fresh for me. I probably have played this type of line many moons ago. So the bishop's attacking this pawn, it's got no protection on, so we take and they take. I right, got a blunder on there but we had a rationale for it. So we brought the bishop back and the queen's down putting a check on so a small piece can defend. And the bishop comes down and we can attack the knight. Knight takes and we capture. So it's not doing too bad via the computer's analysis anyway. And the bishop now this is where they've got the two on one on the pawn but positionally on the board do you really want to be going there their king is not ready to get castled the bed's not really sorted in a sense so that's the way that where i'm coming from so a pawn pushes onto the bishop bishop takes the pawn and the eval bar is showing plus 1.1 it is in agreement basically so they've moved so they've got this bishop that is all alone in the middle it's got support from the queen so we can put a check on the king so it does like that interesting times and the bishop comes back so we can take the queen off the board oh it's still plus 1.1 it's not dipped and the rook comes across and then we can take the bishop with a check but it's gone up 1.5 i am getting shocked and we can grab the pawn back like we said we mentioned all of this in the game and then this pawn push here plus 2.7 obviously opening up for the bishop and doesn't like our rook exchange but i'm feeling it's time to do that let's get this baby out back to plus 2.4 and moving the king out of the way making space for the rook wow i didn't think it was going to show this good actually plus 4.4 .4. right okay good and then we balanced it out by bringing the rook here, attacking the bishop. So at this point here, I did think it was more advantageous for us um, in the game. So bringing the bishop back does not like that. But we did say doubling the pawns is probably going to be a bit, a bit of an issue. But let me just have a see. Oh, it's going for a4. It's elevating the pawn up. It's like just doing a... I'm going to say a normal chess move then. But yeah, we brought the bishop back. 
doesn't like that. Uh, would I do that move again? Yes, I would. <laughs> yes, I would. Okay, so bishop comes here. And the pawn's pushing down. But it's a massive drop. So maybe some consideration might be taken in terms of doing that type of maneuver. But I, I felt okay. The rook is attacking a pawn here. It's a nice position. It can take it off quite nicely. But again, based on the previous game, probably taking the, the long way around to keep the advantage. Whereas there was an easier way of keeping the advantage. So I think that lessons learned from these last two games really is quite key. I need to keep trying to push that forward. Like I've always said, there's always things to learn all the time in chess. You might think you've got it nailed on, but there's little tweaks that you can actually improve on if you're wanting to develop in your game. So now we start pushing up, doesn't like that. It's basically saying that's too late to the party, dude. You should have done that when you before you did your um, bishop move. Fair enough, I take that on board. And we're pushing now, and we're pushing. And we're pushing, yeah. I thought it would have got a higher score than plus 5.6 because we've got a queen against the rook. But maybe it's because the rook can take all the pawns off here. But um, he'll be getting loads of checks on his king. I don't really know where his king's going. I mean, if it takes, what happens? I'm not playing against the computer. I'm not playing against the computer. I just want to put more checks on him. I could come down. Yeah, okay. Either way, that, that was fine. But the lessons learned is not to over-egg the pudding.